Hey guys, so this is um, page 35 in our acids and bases pack, and um, it's going to be your practice assignment that goes with neutralizations. And I just wanted to do an example with you so you had an idea of what you needed to be doing. So if we look in our directions, it says complete the following neutralization reactions. Label the acid, the base, the salt, and place the word energy in the equation. So if you look up at the top of the page, we have acid plus base yields salt plus water. And water is also can be written as HOH. That's the same as H2O. So in every single one of these equations, we're going to get a salt and we're going to get water. Now, because um, all your neutralization reactions are exothermic, that also tells us where the energy has to go in our equation. So I'm going to do number one with you so you have an idea where you're going with it. So here we're reacting hydrochloric acid with calcium hydroxide. So the first thing I know, I'm going to be making water in the form of HOH or H2O. And I'm writing it HOH because we are getting some of our water from the hydrogen and the rest from the hydroxide. So part of it comes from the acid, part of it comes from the base. The other thing we're going to be making is a salt. And our salt is going to be whatever didn't come together to make the water. So in this case, it would be our calcium and our chlorine. So our salt in this case will be CaCl2, and that's because calcium has a plus 2 charge, chlorine has a minus 1 charge. So those are our products. Now I have to go in and balance because, well, that's what we do. And adding a coefficient of 2 in front of the hydrochloric acid and a coefficient of 2 in front of the water will get us balanced. Now, what is what? This is our acid, our calcium hydroxide is our base, our calcium chloride is our salt. And because this is an exothermic reaction, oops, our energy will be over here on the right. Okay, so you're going to complete um, numbers two through four. I'm also going to come down and do number five for you because here I've given you the water and the salt and you have to figure out what the acid and the base were. So if we look at our salt, that's going to be the important thing. We've got magnesium, that's a metal. That means that had to come from our base. That means our base was MgOH2, and I know it's MgOH2 because magnesium is a group 2 ion, and the charge on a hydroxide is minus 1. So we have to have two of them to make that work. Then this means that our acid has to have hydrogen in it, and it's coming from this nitrate. So that would be nitric acid, H2NO3. And I know that because my, whoops, sorry, I made a mistake. Got to go and fix it. It's not H2NO3, it's just HNO3. Okay. Um, and that is because the nitrate has a charge of minus 1 and the hydrogen has a charge of plus 1. So here, this would be our acid. This would be our base. This over here, our magnesium sulfate, will be our salt. And in order to balance this out, all I have to do is put a 2 in front of my acid and a 2 in front of my water, and that will balance out this equation. So you're going to finish the rest of these out on this page, and I'm going to ask you to take a picture of your completed work, and you can um, attach that to your assignment and hand it in, or you can use Kami, like I did, to edit your work and um, turn it in to me that way. Either way is absolutely fine. If you have any problems or need to ask any questions, message me through Remind or give me a private comment on this assignment. Thanks, guys.